Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Tatiana for those of you who are new. If you guys aren't already part of the family, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the notification button so that you guys don't miss out on when I upload a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about my best and worst luxury items that I've picked for this summer. I feel the need to say that all of these items I absolutely adore and love. I wouldn't have bought them if I didn't, but sometimes things just end up hurting more than you wanted them to or you just don't get as much wear out of them as you intended. I buy all of my luxury goods with full intent on keeping them forever and ever. So without further ado, let's get on to my best and worst list. A bag that I do love is my mini rectangle Chanel flap in this beautiful green color and in this lambskin. I'm obsessed with her. For being a green bag, I don't know how many times I've worn her. I've definitely got my money's worth with this bag already. She is super small, but fits so much. I can't tell you, there's just some credit cards in here right now. She is my go-to shopping bag. I love that it's crossbody, and I actually wear her a different couple ways. A couple different ways. <laughs> Obviously, one being just a crossbody bag, but also I like to open her up and pull the strap in from inside and wrap it around. There you go. Close it, and then you have a two strap bag that you can easily put over the shoulder, or it just makes it shorter so it can be a long shoulder bag. She just adds the perfect pop of color to any outfit no matter what you're wearing and I love her I can't say enough good things about her next is my diorama in the white patent and she is falling right into the worst category and for one reason and one reason only is because she stains so easy I don't know if it's just me I don't know how to take care of my bags or what it is but this is the back of her and I think it was my jeans or a jean jacket maybe that I was wearing but completely messed her up and I'm so sad I've tried everything in my power to try and clean her so I think I'm just gonna have to send her away and get cleaned to a little bag spa you know what I mean but other than that I, I do love this bag um, I just hate that it's so dirty I love white bags, I love white clothes, I love white anything, but it is high maintenance. You gotta be really careful with white stuff. So I think for that reason, she is falling in my worst category because I just, I can't wear anything with her. I can only wear like a white dress when I'm with her. The last bag on my favorites list is this beautiful big Dior book tote and I had my name engraved in it or engraved, embroidered, embroidered. I love this bag. It is my go-to beach bag, my go-to airport bag, and sometimes my work bag. I can put my laptop in here, my snacks, my water bottle, a pair of shoes to change into so comfortably, and it's just so stylish and big. I love it. The only thing I wish, and I probably should, and I will end up getting is a bag organizer, because this is just, a big hole there's nothing there's nothing inside it like there's no pockets and I love the color I did actually buy the navy monogram book tote first without my name and I just I didn't love it as much I just felt like everybody and their mother had that bag so I opted out for this one and I love it for being so colorful and fun I still like style it so well and it goes with so many outfits so I'm super 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 happy with this purchase another favorite of mine are these Oran Hermes sandals I lived in these until I broke one unfortunately I will probably try to get them fixed if not I'll just have to get another one but I was walking and my husband stepped on the back of my shoe and it broke but these are amazing. They're so comfortable. They're so versatile. I just can't say enough about these. I feel like everybody has them because they're so amazing. So 
If you're thinking about these, don't hesitate. Just go and get them. These Hermes Oran sandals fall in the worst category and because they are so uncomfortable. They're in this tropical print and I don't know what it is. Is it the print that they're different? I mean, there's still leather inside, but for some reason they are taking so much longer to break in than just the plain leather black and white ones that I have. 100% get a blister every time I wear these. So. I just don't wear them because they're so uncomfortable. Let me know if this happens to any of you, if you guys have one of the canvasy ones as well. What are your tips to breaking these in? On the other hand, these clear Chanel plastic slides are one of my favorites. These are my go-to pool slash beach sandal. I never pictured myself buying a slide because you know the whole Gucci slide trend was like here and there but I couldn't resist when I found these. These are so perfect to take to the beach when you're full of sand and you just wanna rinse your feet off and don't wanna damage your sandal. It did take me a couple of days to break this in because it is plastic, but once I did, they are so comfortable now. These were probably the MVPs of my summer. And the last item I'm going to talk about are these gorgeous Fendi sunglasses. These being so lightweight are just extremely comfortable. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel a little claustrophobic when I wear sunglasses that are heavy. I feel like my head is in a box or something. Is that weird? But these being so lightweight are just so comfortable. You can like barely tell that they're there and they don't give you that line there and if they do it's super 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 subtle these are by far the most used sunglasses this summer and that is it you guys i hope you liked my summer picks best and worst luxury items if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you're not already following me on instagram go over there and give me a follow i post a lot of updates and interior inspo and fashion and beauty content I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.